Hi everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna share with you how to go ahead and disable the public hotspot that Comcast Xfinity forces upon you automatically. My name is Mike Moo. I'm a tech consultant here in the Silicon Valley Bay Area. I create videos and how-to videos all the time, so if you're interested in that, please like and subscribe. What you might not have known is that Comcast actually turns on something called a public hotspot. It is Xfinity Wi-Fi. You may have noticed this when you go traveling and you look for Wi-Fi hotspots and you find Xfinity hotspot. Turns out what they do is that for all their customers, when you get their modem and Wi-Fi unit from them, which you may either lease or might be included in your package price, they turn on something called a public hotspot. Now I suggest everyone that is not a business to turn this off. And even if you are a business, there's a good chance that you might want to consider turning it off as well. What it does is it sets up a whole complete separate network from your network that connects through Comcast's Wi-Fi. Now, what happens is a Comcast customer can come over and connect onto the Xfinity Wi-Fi, use their login credentials, and get access to the internet through the equipment that you are either leasing or renting from Comcast. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not getting paid for this. I don't think that you should provide this for free to randomly anybody out there to connect onto and through your network in order to access the internet because that could provide additional security risk and also could affect your bandwidth. Now they say it's not going to affect you and for most people this probably isn't going to affect them too much. Still, I recommend turning it off. So this is how you do it. I created this link. It is go.mikemoo.com. I have a link up here and you can scan it the QR code if you're watching this using your phone. It's go.mikemoo.com forward slash Xfinity hotspot. Link right there on the page and in the QR code. What happens is you'll need to log into your Xfinity Comcast account. Now that's going to be right over here. Just make sure that you can log in. After you log in, you will get sent directly to the page. Now, if you're doing this manually, you can log into Comcast Xfinity portal and go over to services and then click on the Wi-Fi or internet settings. All right, now notice this is taking a little while for this to load. I don't know why, but that's Comcast service for you sometimes. So you go to internet service and then you go down and you go to Wi-Fi public hotspot. Now notice I have this disabled, but uh, if it is enabled, then all you gotta do is click on edit right next to it and then choose turn on or turn off. Now you can turn this on or off at any point in time in the future in case you change your mind, like maybe you have, uh, maybe your business and you want people from Comcast to come into your area to use the public hotspot you can go ahead and turn it on. Now note that when you make changes to this, what will happen is it will take up to 24 hours to take effect. So if I'm gonna turn this on right now, it will say in 24 hours, the settings will be adjusted accordingly. Now when I turn it off, this will have a turn off button there and uh, it, you just click it and it will give you a little warning, let you know that this could take 24 hours to take effect. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Just come back in 24 hours and confirm that it is disabled, okay? Or enabled, whichever setting that you like. That's it for this quick little video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.